Thanks to Redback Connect for having me on today. I've been working with organizations to help them get more digital, get more online, and have powerful presentations online. I think we've all sat there and someone's just gone slide to slide to slide and read it to us. And all that's done is put it to sleep. We talk about how millennials won't engage, they're all their time on their phone, yet they'll happily go to a two and a half hour Avengers movie and be with it every step of the way. So I think they will engage, but it's up to us to learn some new habits to engage better. So what I've got is five different tips for you to help you be a more powerful presenter online. First one is you are on before you are on. So let people know about it. Get a bit excited about the presentation so they know what's going to happen, they know what's coming. And then when the event happens, get online five or ten minutes beforehand so when people do come online, start taking questions from them, start talking to them, start making it more about them. What you may find is some questions come up that you can, on the fly, add into your presentation so it's more relevant for them. So make sure you know that you are on before you're on. Second thing is, don't do it alone. So whether you get the great crew at Redback who are helping you, maybe you've got someone in your office who's sitting next to you, they can take on board all the questions or some of the comments or they can operate the technology so you're free to just do your presentation. Having someone else there really makes a big difference. They can make everything go super smoothly. Uh, and the third thing is no dead air. On radio, and I spent a, time on, a bit of time on radio, the killer was dead air. And there's just nothing going on. It's different to a pause. A pause can be powerful, but no dead air. And I've seen too many presenters go, oh, we're just going to wait. And it's dead and it kills you on the inside. No dead air. The fourth thing is talk with them and not to them. Too often we've seen presentations where we're just delivering data. It's a data dump. You can do that via email. You can send them a document, a white paper, even a pre-recorded video with information. For the presentation, what you want to do is include them in it. So have some interactive sessions. Get them to be asking questions. Get them to do a survey or a post as it's going, sorry, a poll as it's going on so they can interact with you. Make it about them. Even if you are delivering information, you can make it about them in a certain way by asking the right questions. Powerful questions make all the difference. And the fifth thing I would suggest you is start now. Get started. We live in Australia, which is so geographically spread. Using this medium is brilliant for doing some short, sharp meetings. So whether it's using Redback and, and for some of your smaller and more intimate little conversations, you could use something like Skype or, or, or Zoom or some of the plenty of different services out there for just small things. For something as larger, I'm all about Redback. They do some great work. But start now, get started. Even if it's just a simple FaceTime video call with one of your colleagues to if you're giving some briefing information and just see the difference of performing online. I've got a whole lot of other resources. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the screen here that you're welcome to, to have access to. In a couple of weeks, I have a, an online half-hour power session on some of the skills you need to present powerfully online. I'd love it if you'd be there. If you can't make the time, just register. I'll send you the recording. Warwick Merry here. Thank you to Redback Connect for having me as part of this session today. And I wish you all the very best as you present powerfully online.